Hello, and this is Minder for the ZX Spectrum. That horrible noise you just heard was the theme tune, or some kind of close approximation. I don't know why he was driving past Legoland, but there we are. I don't know whether you've ever seen Minder. Great TV series. I remember watching it when I was younger. I think by then, they, the original cast had changed, and they, there was Ray as his Minder, his nephew. I saw the earlier ones with Terry later on, and they started releasing them on video and stuff, and they started showing them on Sky TV. And yeah, I think they're really great, both incarnations. There was a reboot more recently, but the less said about that, the better. And here we are buying dirty mags. Yeah, we have those lads. Who needs weightlifting equipment when you can strengthen your arms like this? For some reason, I can't seem to actually get him to, to buy them. I keep per typing yes, and it goes on and on and on. I think if buying and selling in the TV series had been anything like this, then by episode 2, Arthur Daly would have been sat on the embankment with a flipping bottle in a brown paper bag, sewing the children a dead budgie or whatever. You're asking for egg row. You want trouble, mate. You want to step outside and say that again, you... I'm going to have you, I will. You're going to be eating hospital food, sunshine. Safety, sanctuary and mystery. Here we go again. Lego land in the background. I had this game when I was little. Never got anywhere with it. I mean, I will, I will say one thing for it. It's at least got some of the characters from the TV series in it. Which is more than can be said for a lot of these TV tie-ins. You know, if you wait for someone, you, you lose an hour. I mean, you could just sit there for flipping hour after hour, waiting for someone, and then you've been wasted all your time. You've got to buy and sell stuff, try and make your fortune. I don't know where Terry is. If you press wait, you, the clock goes forward an hour. Oh, there's Terry. There's Dennis Waterman, great actor. I remember him. He was also in um, that New Tricks. I think it was Sweeney as well. He used to make a lot of great TV series. And his cheerful Charlie Chisholm. A detective type. That was Patrick Malahide. A lot of great actors in it, mind us. The guest stars as well, a lot of them were people who went on to have big careers and stuff. I think Susie Quattro was in one episode. You can guarantee if the, that, this detective bloke goes through your lock-up what, looking for something, then it's going to be there, even if you haven't bought it. What? You know, the benevolent fun, that's the you know, people who've accidentally fallen down the stairs. A Winchester Club. That's Dave. I can't think of what the actor's name is. He was another great actor. He was also in uh, Some Mothers Do Have Them as well, I remember. One of Frank Spencer's long-suffering next-door neighbours. And you can't get out of this. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. You're saying yes. I think you have to type the right thing. Well, I don't know what it is, though. That's the problem. You just end up telling him to bloody sod off or something. And he wallops you one. You lose another couple of days trading while he's in hospital. I literally never got anywhere with this because if you do manage to buy something, you can guarantee the flipping police are going to turn up a few minutes later telling you it's nicked and if you get caught with it, it'll off to the, it's off to the nick with you. I just don't see how you can get anywhere with this. I mean, every time you flipping buy something, you have to the laws after it, and you end up having to bloody tell Terry to chuck it in the river or whatever. I mean, a lot of these TV series, they just make a video game cash in, and they don't actually bother to think, well, is this the sort of TV program that's actually got the potential to make a computer game? Box of games software. If there's anything like this, then no thank you. 
mean, if they wanted something like this, I think a much better idea would have been if you're Terry or something and you have to make your way through the underworld and rescue Arthur from his latest dissatisfied customers or whatever. Mind you, some of the beat-em-ups I've seen on the 8-bit machines that might not have been any better. And there you are, this game is not terrible, I just don't see how you're supposed to get anywhere with it, to be quite honest. You will be utterly bored with this computer game. Before long you will wonder why you bothered. I've got a good idea. Let's chuck this out the window. It will be so good for the future of quality video games.